Florida was stripped of baseball's all-star game over the summer, but it has the World Series now. The World Series returns to Atlanta this weekend for the first time since 1999. DNC Sports correspondent Anthony Amy is live in Atlanta right now at the still very shiny and new Truist Park. Good to see you, Anthony. <laughs> Hi, Laverne. How are you? Um, yeah, if you have an umbrella, let me know. Uh, even though we're still about four hours away from the first pitch of Game 3 of the World Series, as you can see, um, it's a pretty festive atmosphere as the Atlanta metro area is already out in full force. We are in the area known as the Battery here at Truist Park, where, as you mentioned, the Braves will host the Houston Astros tonight. You can expect more than 41,000 to pack this ballpark for, as you mentioned, Atlanta's first World Series game in 22 years. Ian Anderson will be the starting pitcher for the home team. Luis Garcia will get the nod for the Houston Astros. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to put my meteorologist hat on here for a second, which isn't a, a, a very educated one. But as you can see, it, it is sprinkling a little bit here. Laverne, there will be about a 40% chance of rain all the way through 10 o'clock Eastern time. First pitch is scheduled for 8.09 local time. But uh, again, as you can see, a little bit of rain is not dampening the spirit or the mood of these Atlanta fans who have waited more than two decades for the Fall Classic to return to this city and this area. We'll have much more on Game 3 of the World Series coming up later this afternoon here on BNC. Reporting live from Cobb County, Georgia, just outside Atlanta at the World Series, I'm Anthony Amy for BNC. Anthony, thank you so much. Go ahead, go get an umbrella and enjoy the game. Talk to you later.